Like most people, I love the fresh start that comes with a new year. For me, it's just an excuse to reorganize and rearrange things. <laughs> As a kid, I used to move my bedroom furniture around and it thoroughly annoyed my parents. But even as an adult, I love to just give spaces a makeover. I redid my home classroom where I was virtually teaching last January. So I decided to redo my home office, which was never really done from the get-go. When we moved into the house, I just kind of put stuff in here knowing that I would probably redo it later. So the time has come and I am taking you along with me. Now, full disclosure, it's a hot mess right now as you can see behind me. I just finished batching the rest of my videos for the month of January and all my equipment's still out, but I've also just gotten kind of messy over the past few weeks. I've been putting things back where they don't go. That is something I would never do. It is just time. So step one of this process is to kind of clean out the space as it is right now. But first we need a before shot of the room in all its glory with filming equipment everywhere, at some point I started drying my hair in here at night. I don't know when or why that happened. Closet is a hot mess. So lots of room for improvement. <laughs> to come up with a plan, which maybe should have been step one, but let me show you how I am doing that. First, I just Googled offices and found ones that I liked and copied the photos into a note so I could reference them. <laughs> then I opened up a Google slide so that I could kind of manipulate the different ideas that I had and see it in a more visual manner. So these are just images from Google. So it's like a bookcase and the Alex unit. And I just put them onto the slide so I can move them around. So I started with this option where I had an Alex unit on either side, a countertop, and then the bookcase. But I felt like I needed a little bit more storage. So then I went to this option where I'd have almost like two sections of desk, but I didn't love it. So this is what I have settled on. Two Alex units on either side from Ikea, the countertop, bookcase on each side and some floating shelves. I already have one Ikea Alex unit, so I've ordered three more. I've ordered a countertop, bookcases, and floating shelves. So now we wait for them to come in. If you can't tell, I'm making up these steps as I go. Step three, I'm gonna call move around the furniture I already have. So here's where we are at. First of all, I stole this. Okay, thief. Well, okay, I didn't steal it. I moved this desk from our loft area into here and it's in the center, which is where it's gonna stay. I'm gonna have that piece that I just showed you through Google Slides on the back and then I'll have this area. So when I film, I can film this way and I'll have stuff behind me, but I have another work area here. Hopefully that makes sense. The Alex unit is already where it needs to go. That table is not gonna stay. I've moved my colorful drawers, which I got from Michael's, in front of the window. I'm not positive if they're gonna stay there. That computer will end up going on the desk that's going back here. That table is not gonna stay, but I wanna get a Calyx unit from Ikea to serve as kind of a bookshelf to go on that wall. And then I put my tall Ikea drawer unit in the closet. Since I took that desk from the loft area, I replaced it with this long table that I had. That way we could have the computer and the printer all in the same space. And those drawers came from my closet and I replaced them with the taller Alex unit, but these ones fit perfectly under the table. And then that other Alex desk where we used to have the printer is going in the garage as a workbench. This vlog is just revealing the fact that all I wear are sweatshirts and hats. <laughs> I said nothing fancy. But steps four and five, I'm just smushing them together are ordering furniture and assembling said furniture. I'm getting most of it from Ikea with the exception of some bookshelves, which I got off of Amazon because Ikea was out of stock on the bookshelves I wanted. I did go to Ikea and get some things, but I also am having some delivered because it was way too big to fit in my car. But I'm gonna start assembling stuff that I already have so I can get it done and out of the way. And when the other stuff arrives, I can focus just on that.
progress, and by we, I really just mean me, I put together all three Alex units that were delivered. I got the shelves up on the wall. Basically, the only thing that's left is to put the countertop on, but it's very, very heavy, so I'm gonna need Billy's help with that. Plus, my other dilemma, the plug that I will need for my iMac is behind this Alex unit, so I'm gonna have a power strip, but because I want these as close to the wall as possible, I need a power strip that has like the flat plug. Hopefully y'all know what I mean. And I went on Amazon and thought I was ordering the flat plug ones, but you know how you start on one Amazon listing and then somehow you click another one and then you click another one and I did not pay enough attention when I ordered it. Thanks for shopping with Dender Rifflin. It is the wrong kind. So I'm gonna have to go to Target and get one of the flat plugs. But after that, we're basically ready to roll. And finally, step six. I don't even know what step we're on, but the final step is the most fun. It is time to decorate slash style slash organize, which I have a ton more space now, a lot more drawers and places to put things. So I'm excited. Here's the irony of that whole power strip situation. Because the countertop is a little bit deeper than the Alex units, I had to pull them out from the wall. So I have about a two inch gap, which means I didn't even need a flat power strip plug. Don't want it, won't open it, don't need it, won't take it. <laughs> I was able to use one of the regular ones. Hold on, let me crawl under here and see if I can show you. Yeah, I ended up using literally just a regular plug. Ow, I'm too old to be crawling on the floor like this. I ended up just using a regular plug and it worked out just fine. So I didn't even need the flat plug. But I am very happy to report that my office is like 95% done. I'm waiting on a picture that I ordered from Etsy to go in that big frame. And then I ordered something from Amazon to go on the wall over here. And I'm still finalizing some of the organization in the drawers. Otherwise, I am done. Now keep in mind, this has taken place over the course of like two weeks. <laughs> this was not like a one day or two day type of deal. It's been stretched out way too long, honestly. But I decided I'm going to do a full office tour and it's gonna be up next week because I want to be able to tell you where everything came from, be able to show you all the organization, show you inside the closet, all of that. And it's just too much <laughs> for this video. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. And by that, I really mean the office tour, which is coming next week. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.